Hello and welcome to the assembly video for the Model S. Thank you for choosing RP3 and welcome to the crew. Check that your serial numbers are the same and then using a box cutter you can cut off the blue ribbons for the casing of the rail. After removing the blue ribbons you can cut all around the box like this to remove the caps on the rail box. Remove the rail from the box and put it to the side and then you can open the box of the machine. Cut open the blue ribbons and open the box. Once the box is open, you can start removing the parts. First, the seat, the foot stretchers and the leg. And we recommend arranging the parts away from the box so you have space to work. So remove the first part of styrofoam and you'll see the machine. Again, remove this from the box and put it by the rail. We do recommend that you keep the parts of the inside of the box for later, as not only will they help you put the RP3 together, but they're also important for transportation. So once everything is out of the box, put the box back together and flip it over so you can place the rail on top to keep it in place for construction. Do not throw out this box as it is useful if you have an RP3 travel bag and you can fit it inside. In this small bag, you'll find all the tools and pieces that you still need, including the stopper, cables for your tablet, Allen keys, screws, and the coinciding rings. The first step is attaching the rear leg. For this, we need two screws and two rings and an Allen key, and of course, the rear leg. The rear leg is the one without wheels and the dial on top to adjust the height. Look for the side of the rail that is labeled with rear. This is the rear leg. Attach it at a slight angle so that the holes line up and then put the screw into the hole and tighten with the Allen key. There are two screws here in total. The next step is putting the seat onto the rail. Make sure it's the right way around and then just slide it onto the rail like this. After the seat comes the machine. Now keep in mind it's quite heavy so be careful when doing this. At a slight angle put the rail into the machine, open up the clasp so the rail can keep moving through and then feed the rail through the machine like so. Now we're going to attach the front leg to the machine. So again, we need two screws and two rings, an Allen key, and bring the stopper along with you as well. The front leg is the one with the wheels on, and again at a slight angle, attach it to the rail, and then fasten with the screws. Once the front leg is attached, you can attach the stopper. This is done simply by screwing it into the hole by the front leg. Then comes the foot plate. To attach the adjustable foot stretcher into the foot plate, use the tool to wedge between and then push it through and pull along the holes. Take the pegs and unscrew one end. Feed this through the foot plate and through the machine and attach the other foot plate on the other end. When doing this, be careful that the adjustable strap does not get caught between the machine and the foot plate. Now reattach the caps and tighten using the Allen keys. And then when the foot plate is attached, you can move 
the machine into the lock position, pull the handle out and remove the protective nets, and then finally attach the cable provided that you can use with the tablet that you'll be using on your RP3.